We're going to take a look at how you can bill clients by billing by contract. So let's go to a contract here that needs to be set up for billing. And uh, it's uh, this one right here. You see it's a billing by contract. Now we do have uh, the spot scheduled. It's got uh, uh, two day parts that are sitting here. And there's the price for each of the day parts. Of course, they will be combined. We notice that the end date is uh, going to be in April of uh, 2011. And uh, we're going to, and, and the spot schedule actually begins in um, October of 2010. So even though there may not be many spots to bill, we're not... Uh, when you're billing by contract, you're not counting how many spots. So let's say that the um, advertiser and the station agree that we will be billing a level amount for the entire uh, run of the contract. So it'll start the uh, first week of November, we'll be billing, and it will end the um, first week of, of May of uh, 2011 and that'll be uh, those bills. Let's see, that's November, December, January, February, March, April, May. So that's a total of seven invoices to cover that period. All right, let's go to the billing segment area and we'll click add and we get the choice of doing it manually or doing the wizard. Now let's say that this is a, a customer that's going to pay for the entire schedule right up front. So then you would just enter one billing segment for the entire amount and do it manually. But in this case we're going to uh, use for our lesson the uh, monthly billing for the duration of the contract. So it'll be a lot easier to use the wizard. So here is the wizard. Now first of all it has put those two amounts together and it's showing right up here at the top $8,850. Uh, there is no trade. If there were trade, then you would put the amount of the trade in. Trade cannot exceed the net amount. The net amount is the total value of the contract, whether in cash or services or goods, to the station. If we were billing through an ad agency and they would like to have their commission added to the bill, then we would put an amount here, which would be greater than the net amount. It would be the net amount plus their commission, uh, which may be uh, 15%. Now, you can calculate it by, uh, if, if this were an ad agency situation, you could put 15 right in there, for example, and uh, then it would calculate how much the gross is going to be, and that's what would appear on the invoices, which would be then sent to the ad agency. The, the ad agency then takes that amount, bills it to your advertiser. The advertiser sends a check for that amount to the uh, ad agency, they take out their commission and send you the net amount. So that's the difference between net and gross in Radio Works language. All right, since this neither one applies, we're going to click here for the number of segments and put seven in there. And uh, it's going to be monthly. And we're going to uh, start it off with uh, November the 1st. So we'll put... And since we're in 2010, it'll automatically put that in there when I hit Tab. So what this is telling it to do is to take the net amount of 8850, divide that up into seven segments, schedule it monthly on the first of the month starting November 1st. So when I click OK, that's what it's going to do. And there it shows the last billing segment, which would be May 1st, 2011. And uh, if you wanted to see all of them, you could just click on the previous button 
and go back, and there's the first one. I uh, know that's not the first one. That's January. There's the first one right there, the first of November. So I close that, and here are all the billing segments. So the net amount is twelve sixty four twenty nine. The trade amount is zero. Gross amount is zero. Nothing's been paid on these invoices. So and and here is the invoice number. Now over here you'll notice a slight discrepancy. The total spots, which comes from the spot screen, is eighty-eight fifty. But when I divided that up seven ways, it would not come out exactly to eighty-eight fifty and no cents. It came out to the net amount of eighty-eight fifty and three cents. So um, that's going to be off a little bit. How are we going to fix that? Well, it's very simple. Uh, you can do it any way you like. But uh, let's just say we go back into the billing segment. There's the first one. I'm going to click on the Edit button. And I am going to reduce the very first invoice by three cents. So I'm going to put a six there. And I'm going to click Save. And I realize that the first invoice will be three cents less than the others. Now I could take the first three invoices and make them one cent less, or I could take the last three, or uh, doesn't matter how you do it, and in order to get to that amount, it's even. Or it could be you could just leave it uh, three cents uh, discrepancy and uh, figure that that's not a big deal and let the client know, and they say who cares. So, but that's how you do the editing. So I'm going to click save. And close that screen. You'll notice there's the first one at 26 cents. The rest are 29. And over here, we don't have any red ink because both of them are in balance. So that is how you set up billing segments. And notice here I have batch marked yes. Now that's up to you. It simply means that when I come to the first week of November, I can run a batch invoice process that will print all of the invoices that have a due date in the month of November. And uh, they'll, they'll all go to the printer together, and then I can uh, simply uh, fold and stuff, and away they go. Uh, if for any reason you would like to give invoices special treatment, then you can take it out of the batch by changing that to no. And you'll see there's a print button there, and at any time you can print an invoice directly from a contract. So, for example, if somebody uh, calls and says, I can't, uh, can't find that invoice, uh, can you send me another? Then you go to their contract and click on print, choose the invoice, and print that. Then you're all set. So that is how you get the billing segments all set up and uh, ready to go for the contract billing.